Have you ever wondered what someone might be hiding behind their smile or silence? Could they be a survivor of narcissistic abuse? Life is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of joy, pain, triumph, and struggle. Among these strands, there are those who carry the weight of an invisible burden. They are survivors of narcissistic abuse, a form of emotional and psychological torment that often goes unnoticed and misunderstood. These brave individuals navigate a challenging and isolating aftermath, often choosing to hide their scars and turmoil from the world. They do so to protect themselves from judgment, disbelief, and further victimization. This video aims to shed light on these hidden aspects of their experience, to foster greater understanding, empathy, and support in our society. In the course of this discussion, we will unravel 10 things that survivors of narcissistic abuse frequently conceal from the world. Join us as we delve into the 10 things that survivors of narcissistic abuse often hide from the world. Firstly, survivors often hide the depth of their emotional pain. It's a protective mechanism, a shield to guard the raw wounds that still throb beneath the surface. The fear of being seen as too sensitive or dramatic convinces them to downplay the intensity of their pain. Yet this suppression can prevent them from fully acknowledging their experiences, delaying the healing process. It's like trying to mend a broken bone while insisting it's just a minor sprain. Secondly, they shroud their self-doubt and insecurity. Narcissistic abuse has a way of eroding self-worth, leaving survivors questioning their own worthiness, their own perceptions, their own decisions. They might fear being seen as weak or incapable, so they hide this uncertainty behind a mask of confidence. Yet this facade can lead to feelings of isolation as they grapple with their insecurities alone. Lastly, they often conceal their fear of intimacy and relationships. After the trauma of narcissistic abuse, the thought of opening up to someone new can be terrifying. They fear the possibility of attracting similar abusers, or worse, not being able to maintain healthy connections. So they might pull away, build walls, and keep others at arm's length. But this isolation can further compound feelings of loneliness and fear, creating a vicious cycle of withdrawal and disconnection. It's important to remember, these are not signs of weakness or failure, they are the natural responses to a deeply unnatural and damaging experience. They are the battle scars of a survivor, still healing, still fighting. These hidden struggles can have a profound impact on a survivor's emotional and relational health. They can trap survivors in a state of constant self-doubt, fear, and isolation. Yet by recognizing and addressing these hidden struggles, survivors can begin to break free from the chains of their past, reclaim their sense of self, and embark on a journey towards healing and recovery. Continuing, survivors also hide their anger and resentment. Narcissistic abuse can ignite a firestorm of anger and resentment in the hearts of those it touches. Yet these feelings are often suppressed and locked away. Survivors fear that expressing this anger would paint them as bitter or vindictive. They may also worry that their resentment might provoke further harm or retaliation from their abusers. But it's important to understand that these emotions are a natural response to violation and mistreatment. They are not signs of weakness, but symbols of strength and resilience. Next is the confusion and disorientation that can follow in the wake of narcissistic abuse. Survivors may find themselves questioning their own sanity, their reality even. This state of disorientation is a direct result of the gaslighting and manipulation tactics commonly used by narcissists. But again, survivors often hide this confusion fearing that they might be labeled as unstable or unreliable. Yet, this disorientation is not a sign of mental instability. It's a testament to the insidious nature of narcissistic abuse. Lastly, let's talk about physical and emotional exhaustion. Survivors endure a constant state of stress and emotional turmoil, which can drain them both physically and emotionally. However, they may feel compelled to hide this exhaustion, fearing that others might perceive them as lazy or unmotivated. The truth is, this fatigue is a consequence of the constant, relentless strain that narcissistic abuse puts on the body and mind. It's not laziness, it's survival. These hidden aspects of the aftermath of narcissistic abuse 
the anger and resentment, the confusion and disorientation, the physical and emotional exhaustion, are all part of the healing process. By acknowledging these hidden aspects, we can better support survivors on their healing journey. Additionally, survivors often hide their financial struggles. Narcissistic abuse can lead to economic hardship, as the abuser might exploit their partner's finances, leaving the survivor in a precarious financial situation. Yet these survivors might conceal these struggles to avoid judgment or the fear of being a burden. Another hidden aspect is their lost sense of identity. The relentless manipulation and control in a narcissistic relationship can strip a person of their identity, leaving them feeling adrift and uncertain of who they really are. Survivors may keep this loss hidden, afraid of revealing how profoundly they have been affected. Grief and mourning are also often hidden away. The ending of a relationship, even an abusive one, can bring about a profound sense of loss. Survivors may suppress their grief, worrying that others might judge their emotional response or misunderstand their mourning for longing. Lastly, survivors often hide their fear of being misunderstood or disbelieved. The complexity of narcissistic abuse can lead to a fear that others will not understand or believe their experiences. This fear can make survivors reluctant to share their experiences, further isolating them in their struggle. Understanding these hidden struggles can foster empathy and provide crucial support for survivors. Recognizing that these are common experiences among those who have endured narcissistic abuse can help survivors feel less alone and encourage them to seek the help they need. Breaking the silence and seeking support is essential for healing. It's okay to share your experiences, to let the world see your vulnerabilities. It's in this openness that we find strength, and in sharing, we foster understanding and empathy. This video could be a lifeline for someone silently grappling with the aftermath of narcissistic abuse. So, share it, talk about it, break the silence. Remember, no one is alone in their journey to heal from narcissistic abuse. Together we can foster understanding, empathy and support.